Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Michelle here. Morning. And it is time to visit with our friends from Broadlawns Medical Center because the more you learn about Broadlawns, the more you'll be simply amazed at what can be uh, accomplished at those facilities. That's right. And we have Dr. Brian Folkers. He's joining us here this morning. And uh, you kind of have an interesting story. You just recently left private practice to join the staff of broad lawns on a full-time basis and you're the first full-time plastic surgeon over there. I am, yes. Okay, and you, you mentioned to us uh, you know, off camera that uh, you did spend some time there uh, on a part-time basis uh, performing plastic surgery over at broad lawns, right? How long ago was that? That was probably about six months ago. Okay. I did that right before I made the transition over. Okay, and what prompted the move? What prompted the move from a private practice to uh, coming on full-time over at Broadbonds? That's a good question. I get that question quite a bit. because There's a lot of good things about private practice, and, and I enjoy private practice, but in my private practice that I was um, uh, currently doing, I had the opportunity to go to outlying clinics and serve throughout Iowa. And in that, I kind of, I started to get a good feel of um, that small town community hospital. And I liked everything about it. The people there and the people that they um, served and the administration and the support and just that family feel. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I realized um, the all consuming nature of private practice versus that small town community feel of a, you know, a smaller town hospital. I decided to kind of make that transition. Private practice is one of those things like you're, if you think about it, you're CEO and you're kind of have to run things, but then you're also the employee, right. so you have to do both. So it can really be, it can really be all consuming. I would imagine. Yeah. And so making that switch to broad lines, it's like I started, I talked to some colleagues and they, um, there was, you know, they said a lot of those qualities you can find over at broad lines. And so when I was over there part time, I, all those things were verified when I was there. And, mm -hmm. You know, the administration was fantastic and how they support their staff and the staff was, they love to be there, they love to take care of people mm -hmm. and it just gave me the opportunity to be able to, you know, do what I love to do. Was there anything that surprised you about Broad Lawns when you first went in there and, and you said you, you went in there uh, less than a year ago and, yep. and saw the facilities and saw the way they treat people, anything that really caught you off guard? I think it was just the biggest thing was just the small town feel. I mean, it was a hospital that, you know, does a, you know, it's, it's in a big city. It's and a well-known hospital, yeah. Right, right. And they do great things. And so when I'd go through the, the hallways and everybody says hi and patients say hi, and it's just a very nice environment. And I, probably the most surprising thing was just the people liked what they do there. Mm -hmm. And they liked it. That's a whole different atmosphere, isn't it? Yeah. When people enjoy what they're doing. Yeah. That is great. Now, what type of uh, you know plastic surgery do you specialize in? Is there any one uh, area that you specialize in more than another? So, it's interesting because when you, people think of plastic surgery, the first thing they think of is um, is well, it's cosmetic. Like yeah. You do cosmetic, and and I do that, and I enjoy that. But that's a small part of what plastic surgery is because I do a lot of reconstruction. Um, a lot of people don't know hand surgery is part of plastic surgery. We're trained in hand surgery, skin cancer reconstruction. Um, there's a, now that we can offer, now that I'm there, we can offer uh, single stage breast reconstruction where the breast is uh, taken off as a mastectomy from the general surgeon and then the same surgery, I can do the reconstruction at the same time. Really? Yep. Okay. Burn reconstruction, facial trauma reconstruction. A lot of those cases before were being sent out because they just didn't have the ability to hold them there or, or didn't have plastic surgery there. Yeah. And now Talk we about can, yeah. just how having a full-time plastic surgeon now on staff um, there really kind of expands on the services that are offered. Yeah, so it's it just gives a it offers something to the community that um, they didn't have before. Mm -hmm. And so those patients and you know those everybody deserves that you know right to have that plastic surgeon have that done in town is supposed to be sent out to bigger centers and so now we can offer that at Broad Lawns with okay. skin cancer reconstruction. So people hear the term plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. um, what is actually being used for the surgery? Is there any type of plastic that's used for it or how do you go about doing that? Huh. So the plastic surgery, the, the term originally came from molding and changing and shaping things. Okay. So we do all sorts of things. It's best if you can use the patient's tissue. Okay. So skin grafts using the patient's own skin or rolling and transpositioning you know, tissue over or using flaps. We do have artificial grafts as well that we can use and 
Yeah, how challenging is that, just trying to get the, the tissue to, you know, regrow in an area that it, it was uh, damaged, in most cases damaged or removed? Sometimes very, very challenging. It depends, you know, it depends on how the health of the patient and the history. And, and some of the flaps that I use, some of the, um, you mentioned African Queen before. And oh, yeah. From coming out in 1952. It's mm. like, I remember that leech scene very well. <laughs> <and> so. <laughs> And you admit you, because yeah. you currently, you, you This is really cool. Yeah. Where do you guys right. hear this? Yeah. So I, I have used leeches, and I've used them at Broadlawns, actually, where if you have a flap that gets congested with venous blood that you've kind of used to reconstruct something on the patient, then one of the best options to do is leeches. And you, there's medical grade leeches. Medical grade leeches. So yeah. you just go to the bait shop and get some, right? <laughs> right, okay. right. No, They're no. probably a little more expensive. <laughs> <than those. laughs> you think so? Yeah. And, and right. so you take the actual leeches and what you, you apply them onto the skin. Yep. And w how long do they take to, to work or how long do they stay there? It depends, depends how hungry they are. I Seriously, guess, yeah. that that's really right. is the determining factor. Because you kind of hold them there, and just like normal leeches that I'm sure most of them have gotten, living in Iowa, and you put them on the skin, and then they kind of latch, and then you start to see them eat, and then it really just depends on how hungry they are. Because when they get full, they fall off, and we put more on. Okay. Or the nurses put more on if they're not too freaked scared. out, right? right. <laughs> right. <laughs> by, right. by the leeches falling <laughs> off. But where do you primarily go? Because we know that Broadlands has a couple of different locations now around town, which is really convenient for a lot of people. W what's your primary location? Main campus is main my, campus. Yep. So okay. uh, right on, yeah, it's my main campus uh, is where I have my main clinics and where I do my main surgeries, and then. Um, uh, I do have on the fourth Tuesday of each month, the uh, it's called my injectable clinic, I kind of name it, and that's where I do the Botox and the filler. That's at Cityville. Okay. okay. So that's one of their newer facilities. Right. Actually, yeah, that was a Cityville picture that we just saw oh, right there. So yep. uh, it, a really cool location just outside of downtown. Yes. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's right on the edge of downtown there. It's like, very convenient. Yeah, which really works well. Now, something else that people want to know about, uh, about Broad Lawns, and you guys ins accept all kinds of insurance, don't you? Yes, okay. that is correct. So if you have ins if you have insurance, you're good to go uh, at Broadlands, and uh, don't forget Broadlands is also the place to go for help. Period. Right. Yes, most definitely. Okay. As the Broadlands <laughs> locations around town, we have three of them, right? Yes. Okay. So we have the, the main campus uh, that we just got done talking about, the one just outside of downtown, mm -hmm. uh, the City View, and then of course there's the one over on University, mm -hmm. uh, over uh, east, right near the fairgrounds, mm -hmm. Michelle, yep. which is really a super location. People on the east side love that facility. Yeah. So, so many different things that are offered, Michelle. Yeah, over congratulations on your new position there. And, yeah, and maybe thank you. just real briefly, um, for people that aren't familiar, you know, there are a lot of different medical centers and so forth. And kind of what I know you'd mentioned, you know, that small town kind of feel with Broadlands Medical Center and kind of what sets it apart from some of the others. I just, I think the minute you walk through the door, Broadlands has just this, like you'd mentioned, just this kind of small town feel, but then you get it just. People want to take care of you there. You know, you're there no matter what background you're from or what financial background you have or currently have. It's just they, they want to take care of you. They want to make you get better. And administration is all about supporting that. So as physicians, I mean, I'm a surgeon. I love to be in the OR mm -hmm. and, and take care of patients. And so it, you know, administration really does anything possible to help us be able to do our job well. Wonderful. Well, and it's a great place to be. So if people want to reach out and kind of touch base with you and connect with if they're in need of some of the services that you provide, what's the best way to do that? Either through a uh, phone number or email. Phone number is 282-8280. Uh, it's a lot of twos and eights. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Easy to remember. Good numbers. Right. Those are good Easy numbers. to remember. Yeah. But and then otherwise, it's just plastic surgery at broadlands.org. Yeah, the the facility and uh, the equipment that we have at Broadlands, second to none. Yes. And the staff equal to that second to none. I would agree with that statement. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, Very nice you. to meet you, Doctor. You. Nice to meet you, you too.